Hi, I'm Josh Dubois, and we've been talking about basic bartending, and now I'm going to go over the tools that you're going to need for your own home bar. Now, first thing that you're going to need is a cutting board and a knife, good sharp knife, and you want to always be careful with that, but we're going to be using that to cut up some fruit. The second thing that you're going to need, and is a bartender's best friend, is a bottle opener just like this. Now, the reason that you want to have one just like this is because it goes in your back pocket, and you can grab it. It just comes right there. This thing sticks out of your back pocket, goes right there. You always know where it is, and you can speed open bottles with it. This is a bartender's very best friend, and you shouldn't hire a bartender that doesn't carry one of these around. The next thing that a bartender should always carry around is a lighter or matches. Now, you never know when it's going to come in handy, either at your home bar or if you're actually bartending at a real bar. Um, you may have somebody that smokes cigarettes or that needs a candle lit. It's always helpful to have this around, and it really helps out with your tips. The next things for your home bar, and we're going to talk about these more when it actually comes to pouring, is you're going to need some pourers. Now, these are actually kind of hard to find sometimes. You can definitely get these online, but you can also get them um, usually in home, uh, home like cooking stores, uh, cooking stores that have all sorts of stuff like uh, pots and pans, and sometimes they have these. Sometimes you have to go look in the salad dressing uh, aisle of those of those home furnishing stores because they keep them in there because they expect people to be pouring olive oil and salad with them. Very important, and I'll show you why later when we actually do the pouring. Uh, next, you're going to want a container to put ice in or just a freezer around with ice or an ice bin, and you're going to want to also have a scoop to scoop that ice. You never, never dip an actual glass into the ice because if you break that glass in the ice you have to burn the entire thing of ice and it really really slows down the flow of your bartending. Never never put an actual glass in the ice. It's also dangerous and you can cut yourself really easily with it. The next thing that you're gonna that you may find helpful is to have some sort of measuring device. And I'm going to show you later why this is completely unnecessary and actually makes you look a little bit more like an amateur if you're using one. You can also keep a mixer around, but we won't really use that that much, and it's not really that important. Something that is important is a strainer. You're going to use this when straining a lot of shots. Um, you can use it when you're straining martinis, but I'm going to show you the better way to actually strain it later. You're going to want to keep around shot glasses for measuring. Now I'm going to show you some things that are an absolute necessity and which ones are better to get. This is the shaker tin that you want to get. Now the reason for that is because you can take all sorts of glasses, pint glasses, bigger glasses like this, and this is what you're going to want to mix in. And I'll show you why you want to do that later, but this is the best thing to mix in. Another thing that you're going to see a lot in people's home bars is a shaker tin like this. And these are okay, they're, they're going to work out fine, but I really, I really prefer the other shaker tin and actually using a cup to them because, you know, it's just kind of amateur and, you know, you shake it like that. It, it does look cool, but I'm going to show you why the other stuff is way better later. Um, one thing that is very, very important to have around is a bartending book that has drinks in it. Now, the best bartender in the world doesn't know how to make all the drinks, and a lot of these drinks have really complicated recipes and long lists of ingredients, and you're never going to remember them all. Always have a book that has all of your basic drinks that you make the most around, and you can reference it really quickly. Sometimes it's good to keep this, actually, what I used to do when I worked in an Irish pub is I would keep it hidden behind the cash register, and when I forgot a drink, I would go back by the cash register, pretend like I was entering some information in, and actually look up how to make the drink. It's one of those tips that makes you look like you actually know what you're doing when you don't. Um, last but not least, you're going to want to keep around toothpicks. Toothpicks are always handy, and you're going to use them to garnish a lot of drinks with. So that's the basic tools that you're going to need to uh, set up your own home bar. And next, we're going to go through how to cut fruit for your cocktails. To watch the other segments in this video series or for how-to videos on almost any other topic, visit monkeysee.com.